My full name is Gladys Leona Tyler Onstad, and I was born on April 21st, 1922, and I think it was a Friday night. <laughs> and, and I was born in Alameda, California, but we lived in, oh, I think we lived on, in Oakland at that time. And I think the Alameda Hospital was the closest one to us. That's why I was born there. My mother did what all moms did in those days. She took care of my sister, Evelyn, and my father was a plastering contractor in Oakland, mm -hmm. or wherever the work was. <laughs> yeah. Well, when it, was, when it was, as far as I can remember, we always had a house full of people. And of course, my mother did most of the, all the work and the cooking, like all moms did in those days. And I, I always remember my mother having her younger brothers over a lot, and uh, my mother's parents, my, my grandmother, Maybell Leona Pritchard Perry at the time, was divorced from the children's father, so the, it, consequently the children were with us a lot, mainly Gubby and Gordon, who everybody will know who they are. And uh, so they were sort of incorporated into the family with us. And my, one of a big recollection I have of Gordon, he had a, I think it was a Model T Ford, and he was, you used to have to crank the car with it, uh, and he cranked it from the outside, and the crank went backwards and hit his arm and broke his arm. So I can still see my mother running in the house they called an ambulance, and all the neighbors came <laughs> around to see what happened. And that was quite exciting. And uh, that was just one of the many things that happened, you know. And our, we had a, a really a lovely childhood. My grandmother lived close by, and we walked wherever we went. And when she came to her house from 82nd Avenue is where my Aunt Jane lived, and to visit us in Oakland on Spencer Street, we went the back way and we had to go over a creek. It was always fun. And there were always little grocery stores on the corners in those days. And we knew the storekeepers. And uh, we had uh, lots of highlights in our life. I can still, re we lived on a corner, and there were four streets, you know. And I can still remember a day my mother kept saying this airplane must have been just flying all day and you know it finally crashed on the street right one way from us and th th what what did they find the poor lady's shoes that was killed yeah that was quite a, an exciting thing I guess I don't know what happened I guess they had plane trouble and I still remember at the time my mother and father woke us both up my sister and I because the house was burning in the uh, one block away, but it was visible at, at dark, so they wanted us to see that. And all oh, just things like that were highlights. And in those days, you don't you thought a lot of the fire. In this nowadays, if you saw every fire, you'd go crazy, right? It wasn't your house at least? No. <laughs> and uh, so, how many siblings did you have? One sister, but my my mother had a, a half sister that was my sister's age. So she was with my sister and I all the time. So there were almost like three children instead of two. So we did things together, you know, everything together. Summer vacations in Yosemite, where my uncle played in the orchestra, and he would always get us a place to stay up there. We'd go from our house, I think we went to Merced, and Gordon would meet us there, and then he would drive us up. Then my dad could come on the weekends because he worked. And we'd always go for two weeks and watch, the, did you ever see the fire fall from in Yosemite? Well, they don't have it anymore. It came from Half Moon Dome. They built this great big bonfire and then they would put it over the edge and it was just beautiful. And then we'd go listen to the orchestra play and that was fun. And then that one summer that John Barrymore and Dolores Costello were there on their honeymoon that was quite exciting. There were young married people. So things like that. That was 
nice. And then Susie, my cousin, did she, should I answer? We had Christmas in the morning. You know, a lot of people open their gifts at night. We did it in the morning. My father always took us for a ride on Christmas Eve to see other houses, you know, have their Christmas decorations. But in the morning, we always had, my sister and I each had a little wicker rocking chair, and we sat in our rocking chairs and got our gifts and our toys and dolls, usually. And But when my father would get my grandmother's present, that would be Maybell, he would always, the first thing he would do, take his old slippers off and throw them in the fire because he knew he had a new pair coming. <laughs> We, we couldn't wait for that. That was so exciting. <laughs> and uh, But we had lovely Christmases, and I guess my mom cooked the dinner. We always, Jane and Evelyn and I, we sat at our own table, and a small table. And uh, it was, we just enjoyed everything. We had the whole family over, I guess. So who all would be there? Oh, well, it would be, my mother's had a, a sis, two sisters and three brothers. They would all congregate. They weren't even married in those days. Nobody was married because my mother was the oldest in the family. And uh, they were all much, my Gordon was only 10 years younger than I. So he was pretty little. So anyway, our life revolved just around the family and friends. My mother and father had lots of company. You know what, I think Gordon was 10 years older than what? You, so your mother was the eldest, and who was, who was that? My one? Uncle Al, Susie's father, uh -huh. was second. Auntie was third. Her name was Trifina. Uh, then Gubby and Gordon, and then Jane. Mm -hmm. That was my grandmother's family. So we were all kind of raised together, the younger ones. Kind of confusing, huh? <laughs> so talk about yeah. your father's family. My father's family? Yeah. Uh, my father had one sister, Geneva Cousins, her name was, and uh, her, her husband was Frank, and he was in a, a tugboat captain. And they always lived in Alameda, and she's the one that left us the apartment mm -hmm. in Alameda. And uh, then he had my Uncle Boy, that was, isn't it, and uh, Uncle Vic. How about the parents? What do you remember of them? The parents? My father's mother died before my mother and father were married. So I don't know. They lived on Ghani Street, on 82nd Avenue. And I, I know where my grandfather lived. But I don't know if this lady was a housekeeper, Mrs. Goings. Or he, I don't think she was married to my grandfather. Uh -huh. I think maybe she was a housekeeper or something, because he lived alone. And she was, oh, she was, t uh, we didn't like her. And she would always drop in the Ghanis to see her. And my cousin is a school teacher, and she tells these funny stories into her class. <laughs> but about the neighbors? About the neighbors. Like what would one of those stories be? I don't remember them, but Joyce is always talking about it, because her mother used to tell her the stories. So uh, Joyce can tell you probably more about Mrs. Goings, and I know her name was Mrs. Goings, not Mrs. Cummings. <laughs> and uh, I, well, it seemed everybody walked in those days. I don't know of a woman that drove a car or, or a family that had more than one car. But I do remember there was a kind of a goofy guy on my grandmother's street, and he used to think he was a horse. He would go up and down the street, poo, making those horse noises. And they, we used to call him Crazy John. Well, anyway, I think he walked into somebody's house once and scared a poor lady to death. Then it was, she was really frightened, and that they had to finally put him away, I think, because he was, I guess he was friendly, but it was kind of scary, you know? So. And was Auntie Tri married to, to Uncle Boy at one point? Six weeks. <laughs> We, we had kind of a jazzy family.